We are close to finding a planet that can sustain life. No, it's not a bogus claim, it is in fact true. Welcome back to Discovery Scene. Today we're talking about the James Webb Telescope's finding another Earth-like planet. So without any delay, let's get right into it. LHS 475b, an Earth-sized planet just 41 light years away from Earth, is in the constellation Octans, has just been identified as the first rocky exoplanet discovered by the historic James Webb Space Telescope just over a year after its launch. LHS 475b is as hot as Venus and is located in the constellation Octans. So yes, it might not be the planet that we can live on, but hey, a discovery like this is big news. On January 11th at the 241st meeting of the American Astronomical Society in Seattle, Jacob Lustig Jaeger, an astronomer at the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory in Maryland and one of the study's principal authors, stated, I think we are just starting to scratch the surface of what is possible with JWST. When Webb's design began, just a few exoplanets were known to science, and the observatory wasn't set up to find extraterrestrial planets. The telescope is a potent instrument for researching planets and planet candidates that has been previously discovered thanks to its impressive optics. Notably, its capacity to separate light from a source by wavelength. And in layman's terms, it's not something that any other telescope can do, and that is what makes JWST special. So Lustig Jaeger's team searched for atmospheres on a few rocky exoplanets that were the size of Earth using Webb's Near Infrared Spectrograph or NIR spec instrument. One of their objectives was to find an exoplanet known as LHS 47b or JG 4102b, which had previously shown signs of life when NASA's flagship planet hunting mission, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or you could call it the TESS mission, debuted in April of 2018. Tess, huh? Sounds like the name of a girlfriend of a basic white boy. Hey, we're not judging. At least someone has a girlfriend. And look at us, we're talking about this planet that is 41 light years from us. But the planet comes first. What was I talking about again? Anyway, the LHS 475b was not a confirmed planet at the time. It was only a candidate. However, Webb lived up to its reputation as being the biggest and most potent space telescope to date by detecting the exoplanet after just two transits of the planet in front of its star. The finding of an Earth-sized exoplanet is validated and confirmed by these high-quality data, stated Lustig Jaeger. These first observatorial results from an Earth-sized rocky planet open the door to many future possibilities for studying rocky planet atmospheres with Webb, Mark Clampin, director of NASA's astrophysics division, said in a statement. Webb is bringing us closer and closer to a new understanding of Earth-like worlds outside of the solar system, and the mission is only just getting started. The Webb data also accomplishes much more than just confirming the exoplanet's existence. The observations also demonstrate how groundbreaking the telescope will be in detecting the gases that surround an alien world, which is essential knowledge for comprehending that a planet is like. You know, if we can figure out the atmosphere, we'll be able to figure out whether human life can sustain on the planet or not, so yes, it's very important. As it's also important to subscribe to the channel as we'll keep bringing you space-related news. NASA also told me that my subscribers will get free land on the first habitable planet that they find. Shh, it's a secret, don't tell anyone, okay? Alright, coming back to the topic. Over the next few years, and ultimately decades, the search for life on exoplanets will fundamentally rely on the detailed characterization of exoplanet atmospheres, Lustig Jaeger told reporters during the press conference. LHS 475b is a planet that orbits its host star, a red dwarf, every two days. The team watched LHS 475b as it passed twice in front of the lead. The first transit took place on August 31st of 2022, and the second one took place on September 4th, four days later. During the planet's 40-minute transits, 0.1% of the star's light was obscured, according to the Lustig team. The researchers used the information to determine that the planet is around the same size as Earth, with only roughly 99% of its diameter. The scientists integrated data from two transits into a one transmission spectrum to understand more about the planet's atmosphere, but they currently haven't found any molecules abundant enough to be picked up by Webb. The team may use a variety of models to rule out anything that isn't in the atmosphere, even in the absence of any detections. To do this, they concentrated on a particular aspect of the transmission spectrum, a graph showing how much light is blocked at certain wavelengths. Even though it may not be visually appealing, a transmission spectrum can reveal vital details about a planet. 
For instance, scientists came to the conclusion that LHS 475b cannot have a hydrogen-dominated atmosphere similar to the atmospheres of the gas giants in our solar system. The researchers also discovered that a methane-rich atmosphere, like the one Saturn's odd moon Titan is believed to have, is unlikely because methane molecules are predicted to block out more starlight at particular wavelengths than they actually do. In addition, the researchers modeled a few LHS 475b atmospheres that the web data did not allow them to rule out. On the one hand, Lustig Jaeger claimed that a thin atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide may induce specific features in the transmission spectrum. On the other hand, the planet might possibly have a carbon dioxide rich atmosphere similar to that of Venus. He told reporters that such an atmosphere would result in a very flat, featureless spectrum comparable to what we would expect for a planet that does not possess an atmosphere, which also provides a very good fit for the data. It might also explain why the planet seems to be such a few hundred degrees warmer than Earth, according to NASA. Given these possibilities, LHS 475b very well could have been an airless body that has lost any atmosphere that it once had, Lustig Jaeger said, but it also might possess a compact atmosphere that we are not sensitive to. So yes, the bottom line is it's too early to say anything. We still don't have enough data on the planet to rule out anything, but hopefully soon enough we would have the required data and would be able to make our own decision. But this is not the only planet that JWST has found. There is one more that I would like to briefly talk about. The planet TOI 700e is 95% the size of our planet and is most likely rocky. The object orbiting the tiny, chilly dwarf star TOI 700 is the fourth planet to be discovered. The NASA Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, mission discovered every exoplanet. The size of Earth is shared by another planet in the system, TOI 700d, which was found in 2020. These two exoplanets are both in the habitable zone of their star, or at a distance from the star from which liquid water might be present on their surface. The presence of liquid water suggests that the planets may be, or may have been in the past, suitable for life. Cool, small M dwarf stars like TOI 700 are widespread in the cosmos, and many of them have recently been discovered to support extraterrestrial life, including the TRAPPIST-1 system and its seven exoplanets, which the James Webb Space Telescope will examine. The object that is closest to the star is TOI 700b, which is 90% of the size of the Earth and makes one quick circle of the star every 10 days. The next object is TOI 700c, which is 2.5 times as massive as our planet and completes one orbit of the star every 16 days. Similar to how the same side of the moon constantly faces the Earth, these planets are likely tidally locked, which means they always present the same side to the star. Planets D and E, the two exoplanets in the star's habitable zone, have longer orbits, measuring 37 days and 28 days respectively, because they are a little further away. Actually, planets C and D are where the recently discovered planet E is situated. So yes, TOI 700E could sustain life, but we still don't know enough. Actually, the real problem here is that we're still too early in the process, and that's why we don't have a definite answer. But hopefully, soon enough, with more research and more help from the JWST, we will get to the amazing results. This is just the beginning, so make sure you're as excited as we are, because amazing things are about to happen. But with that said, that was all for today's video. Do let us know your views in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.